Oh, hi. I'm going to do a reaction video today. We're going to be reacting to Jubilee's ranking men by fashion and then after ranking women by fashion. And I'll give my input. Finally, I actually have to justify wearing headphones in my videos. I'm actually listening to something now. Yes, I'm a reaction channel now. I hope, <laughs> I hope you are pleased. No, no, no. Why am I advertising Jubilee merch? I guess I should. I'm going to capitalize off their videos. <laughs> Let's rank themselves on who's best dressed. Interesting. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be ranking these ladies after they're, they're in the other video. I think the men rank them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the first two guys, they probably love each other's fits for sure. They, they, they definitely dress the same. The middle guy, we'll get to him because uh, I saw some drama about him in the comments. I haven't watched this video, so I don't know how he's ranked, but I saw the people complaining about political correctness. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, fourth guy, very like streetwear-ish, you know. Would I, would I categorize number four with number one and two? I think number one and two are very similar in terms of everything, the shape, their body shape, like, like the pants, they're both wearing Nikes and they got the shirt like yeah they, they're together i think number number four i guess he's a little more out there and then number five just classic mr classic suit super tapered pants and crinkled up knees i actually give ranking before i even hear any of them talk so i don't know anything about their personalities like i'm not against suits at all i think suits are great they're a key to you know a good men's wardrobe i think i just don't like this guy's suit <laughs> at all i hate i hate that fit of pants i hate super tight suit pants and he looks like a guy with thick thighs and thick calves why are you wearing these super tight pants hugging that i don't know it's even even just a shade like blue and brown goes great together it's such a weird odd color combo in my eyes but this is just not this is not complimentary brown and blue so personally i honestly think i would put him last it suits him it suits his whole vibe like the top i think the top is is fine Actually, I was watching PAQ recently. They did a best of British British fashion. I actually never saw that video. And Dex in that video with his Alexander McQueen suit. That is a very nice suit. And I loved the flare bottoms on, on, on those suit pants. Whether it would work for this guy, I'm not sure. I think this guy should just go for a, a straighter pair of pants. But the jacket and the top looks very well tailored to him. I think one and two generally are decently dressed guys. Yes, it's, it's trendy. Yes, it's minimal. Yes, it's, you know, it's fine. Oh, that, that guy has, it's his bastard on his, on his cap. I don't know. See, hat and shoes are a good place to get more more maximal if you're going to be minimal in every other sense. I think I like number two better than number one. Yeah, number one is, number one, again, it, it's it's fine. Like, these guys are both dressing, like, well in terms of silhouettes, but I do like to have a bit more maximalism in my outfits as a whole. Well, for example, if we go to number four now, I don't like how the pants sit. I guess I'm just, I'm just not a fan of skinny stack jeans. It's just, you know, and even, not that I'm not a fan of stack jeans. I think stack jeans can look good. I think it's just skinny and tight jeans that I, I, I despise, especially, and the black and white combo, I'm not, <laughs> between my girlfriend and I, I'm an infamous hater of black and white. Bright colors go well with bright colors. So if you're wearing bright yellow and you got like a little nice bright blue and red on there and with the hat, I don't think black is the best way to contrast that. I think black goes better with neutral, neutral tones more. Even so, black, not everyone in my opinion looks good in like a really harsh, deep black. For example, gray. There's so many shades of black and gray. I think that you should look into those. And I don't think the black complements the rest of the colors going on here. And I just don't like the silhouette, I guess. Okay, okay, let's talk about Mr. Mr. Heaven by Marc Jacobs. <laughs> you know, I mean, it is just screaming like Heaven to Marc Jacobs aesthetic, even though I don't, like it was out at this time, actually. This video is, is, is a year old. The thing is, it's not my style, but I do love stripes. I do love the silhouette of the sweater. It is very interesting. The sweater is kind of cropped, but then it has this like the elastic, which really goes down and it fades really well into the skirt. I honestly think this top is, is, is very nice thing especially for a guy because it's his like square body it i think it honestly works I, and here's the thing i'm not even going to judge this guy on the fact that it's a guy wearing a more feminine fit i'm going to judge this if judging this fit solely on the style i like it more than number i think i gotta give these guys names i realize i haven't given, this, given these guys names you got suits Steelers, heaven bastard bleh that's kind of blip because his outfit is, is just fine fine okay so i'm gonna put suit last Steelers second last in the middle i'm gonna put bleh because his outfit is, it's fine. I prefer to wear that than, than the other two. But still, I'm going to put in, in second, I'll put Heaven. And first, I'll put Bastard. How's that for you? I kind of like how Bastard's wearing his, his, uh, his Vapor Max. Like these colorful Vapor Max with the Bastard. I think, honestly, I think it works. I wouldn't put any of these outfits, I wouldn't say any of these outfits are that great. But this, you know, I'm being honest, okay? As a fashion guy. <laughs> and I think it's easy for most people to be immediately turned off by Heaven because, you know, it's, it's obvious why but generally i don't think it's that bad especially compared to these other guys i'd rather see that than all the guys before them yeah okay let's go that was my ranking before that took a while 
very good, by the way. He wants to tell you all <laughs> Don't that. even start now. Uh-uh. Because right. someone's going to have to be last. So I don't want to... <laughs> do <laughs> this is true. I don't watch too many Jubilee videos, but I think Jubilee is a fucking gold mine, honestly. I feel about the suit. Is that one, three, five? I feel like it's... it's oh, yeah. This guy... Uh, straight up, man. This guy knows exactly what to do. He's going straight to the suit. He... Because he, he... Okay, there's two odd people out, I guess. It's the suit and Heaven's guy, so... I think it's good to, to categorize them straight away. To be last, so I don't want to. So how do you feel about the suit? Is that one, three, five? I feel like it sits in the middle for me personally, just because it's like it's, it's like a it's like a safe move. Okay. I think when it comes to style, like the intention is what's the most important part. Like, Absolutely. The sure. cuffs on the on the shirt over there, I like how you rolled that up. This is just super interesting and different, but yeah. like yeah. you put intention yeah. behind mm -hmm. it. So. You should be top. Top or, yeah, three. Like, Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. I came today because I was like, I like want to put on like my best. <laughs> And That's so yeah, I feel I feel happy yeah, yeah, and I feel good in my response. outfit. I feel the most me when I'm fully dressed up. It's just like an expression of how I feel on the inside, on the outside. Should we rank? Yeah, that's 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 great. I like that. Like, and, and if we go look at the comments, the first one is immediately. I feel like they should have specified the formality outfits. This is also true. I feel like it's hard to judge different styles together. That's that's also a tough thing. And if anything, they should do this again, Jubilee. But like, rank five different suits, and then also rank five different. You know, streetwear or five different whatever. Actually, you know, we'll go to the comments. We'll go to the comments at the end. Between all of us, kind of see where the average comes out. So like, take so, like, Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I feel confident in my outfit, so I feel best dressed. I like the colors, so fourth, and then you fifth. I'll take that. So I'm gonna take the one spot for okay. myself. That's interesting. The heaven guy disliked who I put in number one. How does that reflect on me? <laughs> Two, because. The shoes are dope. You put a lot of intention. Oh, no, oh man, you got the Alexander McQueen. Into how you got to, together today, I can tell. Three, like just because you came to play today, I can tell. Thank you. And I appreciate it. I definitely would never wear something like that, but I can't knock how confident you have to be to put that on. You know, that's that's admirable. Four, five. It, it is confidence, but you got to look at the style as well, which is why I didn't put them number one because i think i honestly think it is well dressed everyone i feel like everyone in the comments is going like oh they're ranking them by confidence but we, while they are confident while he is confident i honestly think it is also styled like relatively well compared to the other guys the only thing for me is like you got workwear vibes up top uh. <laughs> and then like dope shoes on the bottom and it, it just doesn't really necessarily mesh for me I would hope that people like notice the little accents i probably didn't do exactly what i wanted to in regards to maybe jewelry or like Maybe even shoe choice. Okay, Sean was definitely- Damn, they're all hating on him. This the thing is, this is how I kind of dress. I kind of like the mixture of styles. Like, yeah, he's doing ice workwear on top and on the bottom. I don't, what did he say? I'm not sure. But I like having, like, contrasts, but still having it, you know, match up. I don't think his is my favorite, but I think the intention that he's going for, what he what he wanted to look like, is what <clears throat> I like the most. I can be first, because you definitely came with that intention, and you could tell. So you're going to stay at one. But suit, like, you kind of already top everybody, and you knew that. So I'm going to just keep you at two, keep myself at three. Disagree. You guys are interchangeable. You guys are both kind of in the same vibe. I like your hat because it says bastard on it. I, <laughs> I would just same. Just stay in this order, honestly. Yeah. For me, I'm only ranking based off of, like, what I would wear, mm -hmm. I guess. It just makes sense for me. Yeah, yeah. I'll say one, honestly, just because, just, just levels, yo. I'm going to put myself at two. Just because I do like my own style a lot. I would say three because I'm sticking with my thing about the suit. The suit looks good, but it's like, it's a suit. Zara, probably could cop one. Four. I think it's not, in my opinion, it's not even the best suit. Come at me, man. I don't know. Go with one, two. I'm gonna go for three. No, that's interesting. He didn't put himself one, two, or three. So why did he come dressed? I guess maybe that's just his style and he acknowledged that his style isn't like the best. Number four. Yeah. Correct. There we go. Uh, I put you there just because. I feel like I'd look too tall. I'd be like seven feet. I'd be like. So you're picturing yourself in everybody's outfit. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. How I'm putting myself where you guys are. I rank myself at number five just because uh, I still feel confident at being number five. You can uh -huh. put yourself at five. I like being here. It's not. It's like it's kind of like this. Gender. That was that was so. That sounded so sad. Ready? Putting you put yourself at five. I like being here. I like being here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how do you feel about your fit? Personally? Oh, I think I look good. Oh, okay. oh okay. I, I, look, look I think I look kind of sexy, yeah, but like not kind of like in a weird way. It's like it's like pizza. It's like bad, but you know it's so good. I think that was a little cringe. But like not kind of like in a weird way. It's like it's like pizza. I look sexy, but not in a weird way. Come on, man. Just if you if you're saying that, just go full in. Oh, this guy's giving me weird vibes. <laughs>
Damn. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll Photoshop and put in what my order would, would have been. And maybe I'll see how close my one is to the, to the lady's choice. Oh, curious. Hey, ladies, let's go. <laughs> Personally, I feel like anyone can wear a suit. <laughs> so I'm probably moving to like a three. When I think of best dress and I think of a male, like suit is the first thing that comes to mind. So I think maybe it would have been a little bit cooler for him to step outside of the box. I mean, you Or just wear a better suit. He has his belt to match his shoes. To me, that's very important. So just the detail that he put into it, it's not like I just threw on a suit. Like yeah. how he said there is intent there, intent in putting on the outfit. I want to say two. Two it's or three. Two or three. I feel like everyone wears a suit with intent. I feel like there are... I don't know. Like he has like the whole everything going on, like the three piece and everything, but... Like even just wearing a suit with like an unbuttoned shirt and a blazer or wearing, there's other ways to wear it that's also intentful that it doesn't require you to go the full nine yards or whatever. I feel like Sean just has, I mean, he has the second best outfit in the room, you know, <laughs> but like it's just this all girl, I'm, such I'm a excited to look. this girl, I'm excited to t talk about her outfit when, when I'm judging them. <laughs> Have you seen his makeup too? Oh, the red yeah. eyeliner? Gorgeous. Like, yeah. Go off. Gorgeous. It takes like confidence to go right. out and wear what you want to wear. Yeah, so I really like him being number one personally. I like when guys wear stuff because it represents them and not because it's like trending or a new <sighs> Yeah, I think he That being said, how do you know what the stuff that the other guys are wearing doesn't represent them? Like it does take bravery to go out of the box like that for sure. As, as I said, I think the outfit is fine compared to the others, compared to what he's up against. He's not up against a lot. But if he was up against a lot better, like outfits that weren't defying these kind of gender norms, he wouldn't be put so high up, I think. I think the other outfits are just like not, not uh, exciting. Deserves to be number one. Flower is number one. Red hat should be number two. Okay. okay. I like that he color coordinated. Like I know they said something about like sports, like yeah. mismatching. I wouldn't have noticed that. I noticed the sports. Um, <laughs> that's just me. I don't really like to cross brands either, unless it's probably like luxury. Yeah. That that's just a hit. But if I'm wearing Adidas, I won't wear Nike. If I really like green shirts, green shirt. I don't give a fuck about wearing Adidas and Nike. Adidas or Nike. These Adidas or Nike. These Americans, man. <laughs> Get in my head because like, I don't really wear like full on blast logos anyway, so I don't, it's not really an issue. I guess if you're like crossing all these logos, it's a bit forced. jarring. I felt like I could just go up and talk to him, and he was well dressed, but I wasn't intimidated by him, which I think is a very fine line in fashion. Can we just like notice his accessories? Can I yes. see your hands? Look at his rings! Yeah. Oh, oh I love bracelet. that. Got rings on his fingers, and he got a ring for his wrist. Oh, oh, I love that. that. That's kind of funny. I love <laughs> So how are we gonna rearrange them? <laughs> we all clearly yeah. have different yeah. like interpretations of like what we would wear. Obviously, yeah. just being. Uh, just to go to show, man, fashion is subjective, so you shouldn't, you know, if, like, don't listen to any of these people. Just listen to yourself. <laughs> green shirt to the front. We think green shirts all the way at the front. I mean, he's either one or two. I think two. two. Okay, two. two. Okay, two. Okay, you're good but we there. agree that Sean is number one. Every Sean, time. Sean can stay there. In this, you want to put suit at number four. I just like it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Unpopular opinion. Girl, all my friends are drag queens and I'm gay, so I'm not really <laughs> doing a men's fashion. Take my advice with a grain of salt. I think that, like, the suit. Hey, that was nice that she admitted that because she just seemed a bit, bit arrogant, but it's nice to know where her, her, motives, her motives lie. It's better than Red Hat. So I'd probably keep him there. <laughs> Man, Red Hat is just like, no. So let's just looking away <laughs> look at him i don't know i still say switch him to five i don't know i feel like i've just <laughs> it's mm -hmm. kind of like a good medium he got yeah, the he got the mcqueen so yeah, sure. i understand yeah. curious <laughs> man i don't even remember what i said i remember putting flower at number two uh, sorry heaven at two suit i guess i put the suit last because i'm a little chump i got up here that was a uh, pretty interesting i didn't I think I'd be up here actually. Hey, buddy. hey, I was shocked too, but <laughs> <laughs> I was not shocked that Sean stayed at one. Yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah. Was, I no, was not shocked yeah. at all. I don't necessarily think Sean was the best dressed. I just think he just made the biggest statement. I put a lot of thought into my outfit. I like tried to coordinate the clips, and I even got my nails done to like match the flowers. I thought about like every single detail, so maybe they noticed that, and I'm glad that they did. I thought to be honest, I'm not sure if they did notice that. Although I guess he was put one for his like confidence and making a statement. I still think that the outfit was genuinely decent. Like he was better than most of the other ones. I put at number two. I think they thought a suit was a safe bet and that I didn't take too much too much risk where in my mind I feel like I took quite a bit of risk wearing like 
the pattern suit and you know the the bolder tight fit and maybe a tighter fit. My Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's very interesting that he actually talked about him. He acknowledged that he wore like a tighter and bolder fit and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't think a suit is a safe choice. Like, how often do you see people wearing suits? Style is just like <coughs> work wear, but make it sexy. Like, that's kind of my thing. And you know, it's not for everybody, but I feel mad comfy. I feel like when guys say sexy, they retry to say it fast to make it sound like they didn't say it. It's like work wear, make it sexy. But uh, keep reading, you might learn something you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I do like that. Kind of actually. Thing. You know, it's not for everybody, but I feel I don't like the comfy. crease, though. I wonder why I'm it's up there. I'm ready for a, a cool. I like his hooped earrings as well. I think they're very cool. Sometimes I get a lot of like hate comments or some people are like confused. Like, hey, you're a guy. Like, why are you wearing a skirt? I'm perfectly fine with being who I am. At the end of the day, it's about you and about like what makes you happy. I think that goes to show that in real life, people actually do respect that more than Instagram trolls, you know? So that's why you shouldn't listen to comments. Ah, fascinating. I guess it is like a good share of what people wear on the street kind of thing. Because like not everyone is going to be amazing dressed. You know, if I was to do this, I don't know how I'd go. Because I have multiple different... Ugh, that's the thing. It's, it's hard. I'd probably keep it relatively safe, to be honest. Okay, now time to rank the ladies. Okay, I'm going to do my initial ranking straight up. Let me have a look. Now, this is actually really interesting. I think there's more, more of a range here compared to the men's. My bias is really going to come true here. I'll name them all. Number one, blue hair. Number two, ginger. <laughs> number three, blonde. Just because they all have different hairs. Number 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 four, I'm gonna call Zara Core because I, I I'll explain why. Number five, I'll call I'll call her Real Tree for her pants. So so ginger, a very traditional style. You can see that. These ladies are interesting. It's all fine. But the thing is, I just I'll be straight up. It's just not my my thing. I like to see these kind of older older silhouettes and motifs reimagined today. So that's what I prefer to see. But obviously that's that seems to be her style. But it's not mine. So I'll put that at five. Actually, you know what? I might not put that at five. I might I might bump that up because next I want to talk about Zara Core. Her pants have some cool straps coming off it, but it just like I swear I've seen all those things you can get in Zara. I worked in Zara for a while. I was mostly in the men's section, but I saw the women's section. And just those, that stripe pattern is just so, so trendy right now. And I know I try not to let trends get the best of me. I really don't. I don't try to let it change how I think. But I, I see this. And I think also she, she reminds me of like one of the managers who worked at Zara. She dressed the same way and look, and she also looked the same in her face. And uh, not that I hated her or anything. I just thought her style was kind of whack. I'm not the biggest fan of like, dressing all in one pattern which is probably why i also dislike uh ginger's um outfit as well it's just one big tartan dress and same goes for miss zara over there with her with her cropped jacket zara did all these cropped jackets i'm not gonna i'm gonna stop discussing her i think i'll put her zara at five and ginger at four now for the rest this is interesting because we have kind of the same contrast going on with the men's where we have this girl on we have real tree girl on the very right who's wearing a very more masculine tailored streetwear fit not that that's bad, but I think that women are fortunate enough to have so many more silhouettes and shapes and clothes to play with that I just, it's, it's, it wouldn't be my favorite. You know, even on a guy, I think, I think I would equate this to red hair, red hat guys outfit. It's just not the most exciting, appealing thing, thing to me. Hmm. I don't know if I'd, hmm. I think I'm going to stick with, yes. Yeah, okay. Zara, Zara fifth, Ginger fourth. Real tree third, and then I'm, I think I'm gonna go blonde second. Blonde is just so loud with, with the colors. I guess it's just it's just not my thing. Like literally, I, I I much prefer this kind of darker, edgier look. But then also with the with the blue hairs and nice contrast compared to the black of everything else, it's a lot more subtle. I like that she's using a corset as well as on top of a dress. I like that combo more than um, blondes just dress. I guess blondes also looks a bit cheap, while blues looks more like niche. Real tree, I'll say I'm just gonna say streetwear. The streetwear girl, I think her silhouettes look better than blondes, honestly. Like her, the, the clothes she's wearing, but it's just the most like basic generic streetwear of all time. It's literally Jordans or Dunks. The colors, in my opinion, are not going great. I'd hate the color. I, I really like. I think the only reason I'm putting streetwear behind blonde is because I really hate her color coordination and just the, the items that she picked. Although I like her style more than blondes. I would have liked to see her more, grab some more feminine aspects of streetwear into her, her, her outfit. So I'm trying my best to stay ob objective and also what I actually like in women's clothing. I think that's my, that's my, that's my ranking. Zara last, out of just a personal hatred for Zara. Ginger fourth, streetwear third, blonde second, blue first. Let's see how they do it. Well, how do you guys want to start this off? How do we feel? Okay, I'll go first. I'm inspired by Y2K. Like, I love Barbie. I better not be wearing these heels for nothing because my feet are numb, so. I'm pretty sure this outfit is fire. Yeah, no, I really like your outfit. It just, like, it seems very, like, sustainable. And, like, I've sustainable? Oh, I guess not everyone has worked at Zara, so.
I'm being, I'm being blinded. I'm being blinded by Sarah's, Sarah's grasp. Cause she has like little cords coming off her pants and they're like nice wide fit. The sleeves are unhemmed at the end and they're super wide. And there's something else going on with the jacket. Get when we got to zoom in, we got a closer look of actual materials. It actually looked better. So I might actually change Zara girl's positioning because yeah, we'll, we'll see. I want to see, I want to see more close up shots of her outfit because it, it, it looks better up close. So this is a coffin purse, which is like super cute to me because I got it in a costume shop. I like. That's actually really cool. That's a cool person. I definitely was thinking that I had to go above and beyond thinking that this had to be the world's best outfit, but I had to step back and think like, what would I wear on a daily basis so that people can kind of get an idea of what I do wear? Yeah, I think I think it's good. I think it's good to show up to something like this rather than like going super extravagant, go with something you actually wear. Maybe put like, like a, a lot of effort into what's something you'd usually wear, you know, rather than going like, yeah, you could just roll up with super extravagant Met Gala ball gown and, and win, I guess. But like, that's not a proper reflection of what you wear. Okay, so I would put myself in number one. Of course, I think that this is just like the pinnacle of <laughs> style. <laughs> Definitely not to everyone, but for She could have just said she puts herself number one and moved on. I would but whatever. Last number two. <laughs> I got like four, five, and like I got like ones two. or twos. I'll just, I think I'm I think not should number five. move Issa to first. Okay. I think yeah, I think all she made got her second. Not, yeah. This is like handmade, bro. Like that's, that's another level. <laughs> I would move Celeste. Yeah, yeah. 50-50, I'm just like right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be number three, but like it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with this. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'll take it. I wasn't satisfied, satisfied that I, I mean, personally that I was last, but at the same time, it said a lot about just our society and how we view fashion. And I did appreciate seeing that perspective, especially from other young people like myself. That is true. She's, she's right, I guess, I think. It makes sense that young people don't want to dress like old people. Hmm, how do I feel about this? Okay, I, okay, I'm gonna change back my ranking. So I worded myself terribly here, so I decided to re-record it. Uh, I put Ginger at five because I feel like she really didn't try at all. And I'm also not a fan of the style. You have to modernize it or else you just look old. I dropped Streetwear Girl to four as I just really didn't like the coordination of her fit. It was so, so basic. Again, I think brighter, more saturated colors work with other saturated colors, not with white and grayish green. I also dropped blonde to third as her fit is just too camp with a bit too much tackiness and cheapness in the mix. To me, camp is hard to do well. And for anyone interested, I am a Moschino hater. <laughs> Zara Core went to second because all that screamed Zara in this fit was the all over print. But I think she did everything else well, like her silhouette, the details and color coordination. Although her shoes got a bit lost in the, in the pants, but that comes up later. And then I kept blue at one. Don't have much to add as to why. Just an edgy style that I like done well. This is gonna be fascinating. I wonder what these guys, what these guys go for. All right, so we're gonna do this ranking. Yeah, we're gonna do this ranking. Is one gonna stay in one? I think, right? No. Yeah. No? no? No. Really? No. What? I think one is fine. Yeah, one is fine. fine. Okay, wait. Well, let's go down the line. See, like one thing or like a few things about each person down yeah, the line, yeah, and yeah. we'll keep doing that. Yes. I would kind of like obviously pay attention to like the little details, and I yeah. think that's kind of what I'm judging my my rankings off of. And I really liked zebra print. Like I like everything that's put together. So I would. I think, I think the pattern really just takes away from the details that you're seeing in the pants, in my opinion. I don't know. I think it might be on the camera as well. I think she actually is dressed well, just a different color, different color palette. But I would put Zebra as second. It could have been like elevated with like, like bigger shoes, like platform shoes. Yeah, the shoes are also the floor, so just okay. drowning. I, like I want to ac accentuate the pants. Uh, number two I agree with that. Me. See, heaven knows what he's, what he's talking about, okay? He does, <laughs> he's stylish in my opinion. Like, like Barbie's outfit, just because it, definitely stands out like it definitely pops and she fits it i don't like the dress personally it, i mean it stands out i mean like i'm standing out today yeah, yeah, too, course, you know yeah. i just really don't i don't like the print fascinating i, I honestly uh, newspaper print it can be really tacky but yeah as i said her half it does look a bit cheap and it's interesting that heaven went away against her even though she was like you know standing him <laughs> aesthetic of boots's outfit is a lot better than barbie's i wish there was like another glove <laughs> really? I think I didn't even I notice there was only one club. Yeah. What the hell? I, five. I saw her fit and I was kind of like, I didn't, I didn't think she was in it. I thought she, she was a part of like the team. Yeah. She gives me like a teacher kind of. <laughs> and the way he's just like looking everywhere but at her. 
yes, it just looked too much like Mary Poppins for me, and I yeah, I just couldn't get into it. Like she could have added more, like a trench coat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's just a dress yeah, with yeah, one like, yeah, one pattern on it. It's just kind of like the, okay. It's whatever. Yeah. So like it fits it fits the vibe totally, and I understand what she's going for. That's crazy because yeah. you guys are coworkers. I would, <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely think that he was gonna put her at three or something. I like I like this. Cool, yeah, cool I word. think this is a safe word. I think this is cool. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Barbie does not look happy. Uh, interesting. I, I'm fascinated how the guys went more for a streetwear look. Like, I think it's fair to say a pretty masculine look. So similar to theirs. I don't know. I guess they're just comfortable with that and they like that. I, uh, I feel bad for, 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 the for, time, for Ginger. I'm weirdly proud that I didn't because if I placed last by the girls and the guys, then that's kind of saying, like, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but... There's a certain amount of people that I can really relate to and I can form a solid, solid peer group rather than trying to appeal to everyone all the time. That's the best take, I think, honestly. I think it's better to appeal strongly to a smaller group of people than to appeal broadly, for example. Even though, I'm not gonna lie, I still don't think her fit is that good for the genre of fit she's going for. All these people could go further into their niches and appeal more to that than being more broad. But at the same time, not everyone wants to go so hard into one thing. So I guess by her going into like this traditional style that is her rededicating herself to one style yeah of course you said after coming first and second confident go ahead go on with your day damn should i do more jubilee reaction videos i don't know i did this because i was a bit tired of like doing full-on essays every video every week it's, it's tough it's tough i need to give myself a little break this week if you want to go on my patreon i did a video reviewing this book very good book on Japanese fashion. Go check it out if you want. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.